Okay, now, you are going to work with Amanda as one of us. So she'll do okay. I want you to do this. I know. You have to. Welcome to the Wilderness Estate. <laughs> this is Allie who's going to, and they're cousins, yes. This is Allie, she's going to Woodlands next year for the first time in second grade. But she Hallelujah, praise be the Lord, hallelujah, praise be the Lord. Don't step on the don't step where the quail have landed. Just grab a quail and then run back into the tent. Quickly, very quickly, roast them on the fire. Moses, hold on, quail. wait for your stick. Just like some more. Moses, Moses, Moses. Moses. Thank you. Are you ready to get? Uh, sure, I'll take. It. And then all of a sudden, an order came from the Pharaoh. And the Pharaoh said, hey, you Israelites, you, you can leave. Get out of Egypt. Leave, leave in a hurry. Leave right away. In fact, God led us out of Egypt that night. He's leading us out of slavery, away from the Pharaoh, out of Egypt. And you remember the first day he led us, we ended up going up to the Red Sea. What are we doing today? We're making butter today. We're gonna pour some milk into some cold, cold bottles, and we're gonna shake them really, really hard, and that'll make butter. And you get to decorate it, so that's the best part. We're making these sand things, and they're molding them, and then they're gonna make a necklace. Yeah. Could I please have some glass? Yeah, please. Trevor, do you want a hole in it to make a necklace? Do you want a hole? Yeah, I want a hole to make a necklace. That's a great answer. When you steal, or when you break any of the other commandments, you hurt yourself, 
It may be physically, it may be hurting your heart, hurting your spirit, and it hurts other people. It hurts your family, your friends, it can even hurt people that you don't know that you've never even met before. So we don't steal because it hurts, remember? It hurts. Okay, commandment number nine, lie. We should not lie. Why shouldn't we lie? You steal a toy from the store. No, and then if your parents find out, it still, it still has the tag on it, and you couldn't get it off. Scissors or anything that you <coughs> yeah. find. Moses, I got it. Moses, that was two commandments. If you steal a toy at the store and then lie about it? Yes, it is two commandments, right, right then and there. And it might even be three. If you're thinking about that toy for a long time, you were coveting it. And you thought about it and looked at it so many times you decided to steal and lie to get it. It's, it's tough. Okay, one more. Can't lose children and I love them sharing their enthusiasm for God through music, arts, crafts, Moses. I just love every part of it. The volunteers, the kids. It's been an awesome week. Volunteering for VBS is like the highlight of my summer because I get to play with children. That's it. <laughs> Tell me if you like VBS. I think the correct answer is yes, but yeah. I love VBS. <laughs> We have 66 children at the Wilderness Estate and 41 volunteers. Awesome. Trust God. <laughs> I, I was last night getting ready to, for bed and it hit me what VBS was. VBS is a glimpse of what heaven on earth feels and looks like. It's the praising 
to, to our wonderful God. It's the love that these children have. It's the youth that are working and sharing their gifts and watching them when we're in praise. And it's just amazing. And we are so filled here with the Spirit. And that's how we do VBS. Miss Chan, yes, sir. do you have a God sighting? We had a God sighting in our group today. Where one of our children fell and the other stopped to help her. And that we saw God in action. My God sighting this week was seeing all the smiles on the children's faces and the spirit that filled them. Trust God. Okay, Moses, what's your God sighting? My God sighting is that the whole story of Moses and the Passover and how God spared the children from the angel of death, that that would be my God sighting. God sighting was being here with all those little kids and singing and seeing all the kids excited about all the songs. My favorite part is when all the kids come and they actually work together to play the games and they're really working well as a team. My God sighting is every time I see children getting together and singing and praising God, it just sends chills up me. And I think that's as close as you can get to a God sighting. Oh goodness, seeing all these children this week and the seeds that are being planted and them growing is wonderful. The volunteers will tell you they see God in the children. I'm seeing God in the volunteers because the way they're nurturing the children is really special. All right. Well, I was just up on the mountain and God was talking to me. And God gave me these rules, these Ten Commandments. These are rules to live by. And God knows what's good for us and God knows what's bad for us. And by following these rules, these rules help us make good choices in life so we stay out of trouble, we avoid life's traps, and so we don't get hurt. So we don't hurt ourselves, we don't hurt our, our families, our friends, other people. We don't hurt people we've never even met before. And God's not trying to take away our fun by giving us these commandments. We will have a much more fun life, a funner life. Oh.